Hey guys, welcome to Sensitive Queen Speaks, where we talk about anything and everything related to business, business owners, artists, creators, marketing, daily life, struggles, self-care, and self-love. I am Jasmine, your host. Most of you may know me from J. Lou Rose, which is my small business. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Anyways, let's get into it. Hello guys, welcome back. We are back with episode 6. Probably gonna be like a big like catch-up kind of podcast. Probably the last two weeks I missed posting an episode in time. I had it ready like as in recorded but i've been slacking on editing like beforehand and then so it's so when it's time to post it's ready to just post but lately i've been struggling with just editing like in my previous podcast i've talked about how it has really helped me to like have everything ready and edited and just know what i'm going to be posting throughout the week kind of thing but your girl has been slacking on that portion um, I have a bunch of videos that are just ready to go, but they just need to be edited. I think I'm just getting so, like, I just have so many ideas in my head and, like, so many things I want to bring to life, but I know things take time, but sometimes just, like, getting to that point can be frustrating because I want to be, like, already, like, showing you guys all about certain products or like drawings and stuff but i'm just just not there yet i don't know i'm just i think i'm overwhelming myself so i haven't been punishing myself for not posting in time i just if i miss you know uh there will be next week so i hope you don't mind that i've missed two weeks now um i know i missed one and then i posted and then i missed another one and i'm going to save that episode for next week but when by the time you guys hear this hopefully i've been consistently posting i feel like a lot has happened since i've actually sat down and recorded because the past few episodes have been batched recorded when i went live with my podcast all those episodes were already pre-recorded so this is the first time in a while that we are recording again and I've missed these sessions because this is literally like a therapy session for me. First off, how is it already August? I don't know. Yeah, it should still be August when you guys hear this, but it's already August. I feel like August has been flying by more than any of any other month. I don't know if I've just noticed it now or has August always flew by this fast? Like, I don't know. Like, how is it already almost the end of summer? People are going to get ready to go back to school and stuff. And it's just it's just crazy how fast the months go. And soon Christmas will be here. I love Christmas, but like, I still want to swim and stuff. I don't want summer to be over yet. I don't really have a favorite season. I just like, there's just so many aspects of each season that i love to enjoy and like i'm just not ready for summer to be done yet but i am also excited for fall weather so i don't know what's your favorite season let me know so uh, throwback to july a lot happened in july i feel or it just feel like it was a lot first off um in early july we went to see nf we as in me and my boyfriend we went to um columbus which is like two hours from me and we saw nf it was really cool because we've always seen nf perform but like it was at like a festival type so he's only performed a few songs so it was really cool to see him in his own concert and it was just really chill and i i just really loved it a lot i i fun fact i really love concerts i love concert vibes i love how like that feeling that like you're just in the moment everyone's vibing because everyone's there for the same reason loves the same music vibes and all that and i just you are literally surrounded in a room by people who love the same artist as you and you most likely know all the lyrics with them so you're all just singing together vibing having a good time right and the thing that i hate about concerts is you go in with such a high and you you leave with 
like being high on cloud nine but like i get so sad after like the day after or like the night of um that like the concert is over and it's like you have to go back to reality because it it almost feels like you're taking a break from your real life and you just get transported in this other world and it's just you know when you listen to music you get transported to you just you just forget about reality basically and after that it's like a hit like oh i gotta go back to you know work and and this concert was on a wednesday so it really hit hard after that because I still had to work after. If you guys don't know who NF is and you like kind of like rap music, it's not like, mm, he's just kind of, he just hits different as a rap artist. I don't know how to explain it, but you guys should go listen to him if you're into like, he just speaks about basically his mental health journey, just all that he struggled with and like how he gets out of it and all that kind of stuff. And just like how like the negative thoughts, you know, can get in your head. Just it's literally mental health. I would call him a mental health rapper because literally his the way he explains like, you know, the darkness that we can get sucked into and like it's it's just it, it hits. So if you're into that kind of music and like mental health, kind of music he is the guy for you so uh, we had the nf concert also before the nf concert we had eaten out at this place Ooh, i think it was called the oven maybe or it was called something and it meant the oven i forget the name of it hopefully by the time you hear this episode on youtube i have a vlog up on it and the restaurant that we ate there was really good and people i this may sound like i live in like a hole and never go out but the people down there they were just like all so nice and all like styling and just just they just looked all happy just living life and like um the place where the concert and the food place was at it was like in the city area and i was just like falling in love with city life like i was like maybe i need to move to the city and just i don't know i just currently like ever since having my dogs we go on walks a lot right um since then i've just been obsessed with like i don't want to say the word because then they're gonna get excited but they are napping right now so maybe not but going on walks, it's, like, so thera- therapeutic to me. And just, like, the thought of having to live in a city life where you can basically walk everywhere kind of makes me really excited and makes me think maybe I need to move to a city so I can, like, walk everywhere. But I don't know. I don't know if that's just me just romanticizing it or, like, I don't know. Who knows if I could even actually function in, like, hardcore city life because, I don't know, I'm, like, in a suburban area. So, like, we have some city areas, but it's not, like, all walking distance and stuff. You have to get in your car and drive. I mean, you don't have to, but that's the norm here also i think like a bunch of the youtubers i watch are from new york or la and like new york you there's a lot of places you can bike or walk to easily just a new experience each day because there's so many places you could visit eat at um just do things just do things around just there's always a new thing to do and versus suburban life it's just hard to find things that easily i feel like i mean i don't doubt that i can find something new every day but it's just harder i don't know that's just my opinion or i'm just not putting too much effort in it but i think that's why i've been so drawn to city life is because you can do something new every day and like i've just been more like aware that like i'm saying like a lot so sorry but i feel like i've been more aware that not every day is promised like waking up tomorrow is not promised at all so i just want to take advantage of each day as much as i can and it makes me sad sometimes like that i have to get up and do the same thing all over again like i want to adventure and make the most out of my life and find something new and new experiences I don't know. That's just what's been going on in my head a lot lately. Sometimes people will be like, how do you have so much energy after a long day of work? Like, even the days where I feel so tired throughout the workday, but after getting out of 
work like after clocking out i almost have like this new energy like oh the work is done with now i can actually enjoy my time and like do what i want with it so it's like it it's like another energizer and like i just want to go out and do stuff but not everyone is always on the same level and i know i am not that confident to do things on my own a lot of the times but i i've been reaching other people vlog and just like their lifestyle and stuff it's just like i wish that i i mean i know i can i've been wanting to vlog more but you know living in a small town and like not like i said earlier not having something new to do each day is kind of a bummer so it's like i don't know what i could really vlog about on a daily and no i don't have to do daily vlogs i guess so that's why i really like to vlog when i do something new or something out of the norm trying different restaurants no you know when you have those random impulses and you're just like hmm should i jump on that or not am i gonna regret this or not this could either change my life or this could either change my life for the better or it could be the worst decision of my life so that's kind of where i'm at but like, i don't think i'm gonna be moving anytime soon but it would also be sweet to move into city life i don't know but i definitely i definitely i definitely want to go to like new york i've been to new york a few times but just like Times Square, but I want to, the next time we take a trip to New York, I want to get a hotel and just, just see what it would be like to do the city life, like walk everywhere, bike or something, um, and just see how it feels, see if it's what I really want or not, I don't know. I feel like I would, I would also miss the type of feel that suburban life gives of like just having like oh like the neighbors you usually see they're always so nice well my neighbors are extremely nice they're also friendly um especially when i go on walks it's su super chill you know nothing really alarming to be nothing really alarming that i need to be aware of i mean i'm always aware of my surroundings and all that most of the people are always nice um barely the one day we went on a walk and i did not think it would rain at all i thought it was gonna rain like later in the day and we were probably like not even five minutes into the walk and we went around the corner and some raindrops started coming down I'm like mm, it's just drops we can we can get through this so you know kept on trugging and then it started to downpour not like downpour downpour but it started to rain like umbrella type of rain and me being in a crop top shorts i didn't think to bring i was i actually planned on bringing a jacket just in case but i somehow forgot to grab it and of course my dogs well my one dog my one dog she loves the walks but once you're going in one direction she does not want to go in the opposite direction because it just she just knows that's not the right path kind of thing like she knew like it was going backwards towards home so she was you know not wanting to really walk back that way so i was like okay i guess we'll just walk but i eventually had to turn us around and we were walking i don't know if we were, we were walking back or i think we were walking back the neighbor across the street i actually haven't met this neighbor at all but the neighbor started running towards me and i noticed he had an umbrella in his hand and he was like stopping me like wait wait take this umbrella and like you know we've never met or anything and he was willing to give me an umbrella and i thought that was the sweetest thing ever it's like i don't know nice people are so hard to come by nowadays and just when you do stumble onto a nice person it just makes me so happy i don't know we were literally right around the corner um to not worry about it at all but it, it was just so sweet i just love nice people so if you see someone struggling please be nice to them that could make their whole day you don't you don't even realize i just love that anyways so after the concert that was like mid-july and then near the end of july we had gone to chicago we went with my mom's family and that was that was really fun i think i didn't get a lot out of it like not a lot out of it i just feel like i didn't explore the city as much as i wanted to i feel like because we were such a big group it was hard to do what everyone else 
what I, we it was hard to like make sure everyone was all accommodated and you know just everyone being on the same energy level to do things it was just hard like that in that sense but it was really nice of what we were able to see i feel like i definitely want to go back and see it again and just really just take it all in i just feel like i didn't have moments just to take it all in it was just like stopping going stopping going stopping going kind of thing um we did get to see the bean that was really cool i got to touch the bean um a lot of actually a lot of people didn't know what the bean was whenever i talked about it and it was really surprising because chicago is known for the bean um but this there if you don't know what the bean is in chicago there's this big bean shaped mirror bean and it's like it's like the thing that you have to see in chicago and touch the bean um so that was cool chicago chicago is kind of like a mini new york but yeah i'd say it's definitely like a mini new york we got to go on this boat ride that toured us within like there was like rivers i don't know if it's rivers or lake i'm not a geographical person but we went on this boat ride and it takes you in the city and basically gave you a tour of each building not a tour um but gave you some knowledge of each building and like the architecture style what chicago all went through it was pretty cool um to see how the different architecture techniques were for each building i thought that was really cool that will also be on my vlog um so go check that out that should also be in my vlog i don't know how much i vlogged about it but the buildings are pretty cool okay i had to look it up because it was bothering bothering me it's the saint regis building in chicago it is the tallest building in the world designed by a woman and it has like these wavy um like the sides are like wavy so they said it was like it was like a dancing building and i love that a lot that's why it was my favorite now i remember after seeing it and uh, let's see what else did we do so we had obviously chicago's known for their deep dish pizza we did at we ate at this place gosh i'm forgetting all the names of places but it was really good the deep dish was really good i don't know what it had on it but it was good but after we had deep dish pizza it we were like disgusted even thinking about pizza or wanting to eat pizza or leftovers after it was just i don't know after deep dish you just don't want to eat pizza for a while um it did take me so we went to chicago at the end of july and it's like august it's like mid-august right now so now i'm ready to have pizza again but it took a bit we had we had it at a place near the navy on the navy pier i think it was called is it on the navy pier i feel like we didn't get we had walked around the navy pier just like slightly but like i said we would just stop and go stop and go we didn't really have time to explore like what's in the navy pier and all that stuff but it was really it was a nice view to take in uh, i want to go back for sure but other than the deep dish pizza i feel like the places we went to eat i think we only went out two more times I know the first time I was disappointed it wasn't as great as I thought it would be just like it was just regular food nothing like um it was just American like steak pizza again um but that was the day before we had deep dish pizza so that didn't like make us sick or anything but it was all right I don't know I was just not amazed or anything I don't know, you know when you're in a new town and you want to eat out and see how the food is and stuff, eat at cool restaurants, it it just wasn't hitting it. At, I don't know if it's just the choices we made or it just wasn't good. I don't know. I mean, it was good. It was like, I don't know, I was just not amazed. I was not satisfied. Another thing that was cool, I don't know if you guys are coffee lovers, you definitely have to go to chicago and check out the starbucks reserve i think it's called wait yeah the starbucks reserve roastery in chicago it was so cool it had i think five floors i think it is the largest in the world so it was pretty cool it had five floors i'm pretty sure if my memory is correct so cool you just had like you had a bakery on one floor you had like coffee beans on one floor um, and then they had a bar, I think, at the fourth floor. Um, so they had, like, these cute, like, espresso drinks. And I had one. 
I had an espresso martini and that was really good, but everything just looked aesthetic and just, I, I just loved everything. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's really pretty. You should check it out. If you love coffee, definitely go to that when you're in town. So that was really in the heart of the city. So I wish I had more time to explore the city part of Chicago more because I don't know I just really like the vibes and like walking there there's probably more that I'm forgetting but those are a little bit of the main high oh I'm forgetting the sky deck we went on the sky deck Chicago is also known so in the Willis Tower there's a sky deck and it's like at the top and like there's like some like little like square um i don't know do you call it a balcony i guess these square like balconies that it's obviously closed like you can't like stick your hand out or anything but they're like on one side and it's like literally sticking out so when you walk onto it it is completely glass see-through you can see how far you are from the ground um some people were freaking out it was pretty funny but i didn't think i don't know if i was like not thinking too much into it because i was more concerned of getting like good pictures um on it but it didn't really freak me out as much as you would think it would people were like jumping around doing um like handstands on it for pictures it was pretty funny at first you only get like three minutes to be in it and take your own pictures and stuff but the good thing is you can keep getting back into line but you have lesser time in each thing because i think there's probably like five five or six of these balconies that you can stand there's like five or six of these balconies and you get limited time so like when you keep getting back into line i think you have like maybe a minute and 30 seconds to be in it and take pictures or whatever and it's like how am i supposed to take pictures in one minute and 30 seconds and like we were searching around of who was taking the pictures and who was posing and stuff so it was just hard like just pose naturally and stuff i just felt overwhelmed with that but i mean i got some good pictures i feel like could have been better but it was pretty cool to see the city up top and stuff and i think i think there's 103 floors it was pretty cool and even before you get to the balconies um you go through this like mini exhibit teaching you about the city and the different landmarks and stuff it's pretty cool i it was pretty cool it was a pretty cool experience i didn't think we'd have like um, like a little museum type feel before you actually get to the top. So that was pretty cool. I mean, that's like a small bit of what happened in Chicago. I honestly can't remember. I think in like the beginning of July too, that there has been a lot of shootouts that have been happening. So I hope everyone is staying safe. Um, it's just crazy to think that like people are just using guns i mean i know not everyone is but the people who are using guns to just shoot people for no reason or just think it's a game it's 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 really scary just as just to know that someone can have all that power because i've been to a shooting range with my dad and just even every time like i know how to operate a gun but time i go i just get so nervous because it's just it's nothing to be played about like this thing can kill someone it's crazy it's just crazy how people can use them for the bad and it's just i don't know it's just it's just scary so please be safe guys i also found a song recently i think it was on a facebook reel so it's probably like booming on instagram or something but anyways it's by it's by avery anna and it like explains how important it is to self-love but like also when it comes to yourself it's like what self-love i don't know it's really funny but like also it like hits like oh shit like self-love is important but then when it comes to yourself it's like you knock it down like you don't think it's really important but like you should care about you know self-care self-love towards yourself because you matter too it's just it's it's like almost like you hate that you're struggling and that you need to you know self-care self-love but like you shouldn't hate it because you need it and everyone needs it sometimes and literally freaking human so you're gonna be struggling at some point you're not a person who can avoid being down in the dumps because we're human we're gonna get sad we're gonna need self-love sometimes even though we may hate being in this feeling we do need it
So next, we're going to chill it down. We are get into our manifestation segment. I know I get a lot of people sometimes who are new to my page or channel, and they're like, what is manifestation? Because a good bunch of my brand goes into manifestation, and I just want to talk about it because some people may not really know what it is. It can be confused, like, what? what is this manifestation is like bringing something tangible into your life through attraction and belief like if you think of it it comes into play into our thoughts actions belief and emotions our manifestations is all guided through basically our thoughts and then it can be achieved through the actions that we take the steps we take to get to that goal we want to achieve um and it also goes into the beliefs if you have a strong belief in something um to make something happen and it also plays with our emotions um i think manifestations Manifestation helps a lot with staying positive and just staying grounded and being um, your natural self, being one with yourself, and just stick to the right path that you want to go in. I hope that helps a little bit of helping you know what manifestations are, and if you don't really know what kind of things to start off with manifesting, I'm just going to start saying some phrases. If you hear some thunder or raindrops, it is currently raining here. I love the vibes, but hopefully it doesn't really affect me talking. But let's start. The future I want is manifesting right now. The future I want is manifesting right now. The future I want is manifesting right now. I am achieving my dreams. I am achieving my dreams. I am present. I am strong. I am present. I am strong. I am blessed and abundant. I am blessed and abundant. I love myself. I believe in myself. I love myself. I believe in myself. I love myself. I believe in myself. Money is drawn to me. Money is drawn to me. Money is openly flowing into my life. Money is openly flowing into my life. I am worthy of compliments that I receive. I am worthy of compliments that I receive. I am worthy and deserving of my dreams. I am worthy and deserving of my dreams. I control the trajectory of my life. I control the trajectory of my life. I control the trajectory of my life. I am grateful for everyone and everything in my life. I am grateful for everyone and everything in my life. Great. For our self-care, self-love segment, I love this segment so much. Just like a little reminder each week into self-care, self-love. If you've forgotten, if you're finding new ways, how to go about it, let's talk about it. All right, we're going to talk about the four stages of self-love. One, self-awareness. Before, before we can love ourselves, we must know ourselves. We may lose sight on who we are, not paying attention to our core. You gotta remember what drives you, what motivates you, what excites you, what disappoints you. Be aware of it all. Two, self acceptance. Learning about your core, learning about aspects that you may not like about yourself. That's totally okay. That's who we are. We need to accept who we are, what we feel. We may not be able to change it all the time. We don't have to change how we feel. We feel what we feel. Just own your problems, own your mistakes, own your values. That's who you are. Embrace it. Three, self-confidence. Showing up for yourself. Showing up as your true self, 
be transparent. Showing up as your true self means you're transparent, you have self-confidence, don't be ashamed of who you are, embrace yourself. Yes, not everyone will love you, but that's okay, who cares? We want the people who will love us for who we are, will accept us for who we are at the core. Surround yourself with people who love you and support you, regardless of what your beliefs, what path you want to go down, just keep the people that support you there. Four, self-love. Make time for you. Invest in yourself. Compliment yourself. Reassure yourself. Keep yourself motivated. Keep going. You have to be your own cheerleader because sometimes not everyone is going to be there for you when you need some support or need some cheerleaders to keep you going. You have to be one with yourself. You have to be happy with yourself, confident, you have to to help your mind be grounded and just like with all the other pillars that I talked about, you have to be accepting of yourself. You have to be in love with yourself in order to, you know, be true and just keep yourself motivated because if you're happy, you're confident, you've accepted who you are and what you believe in and all that, that's going to keep you going. That's going to be make you confident and not get yourself in doubt and hide away. It's going to help you keep going. When I'm not confident, it's definitely harder to stay motivated and to keep going, keep creating. It can be really rough, but when I get those negative thoughts out of my head and keep myself grounded, remind myself who I am, what my goal is, what I love, and how other people shouldn't have opinions about that because I know where I stand so that 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 keeps me motivated. And now onto the creatives feature. This week we have Kayla from Journey of Love. She makes stickers, keychains, tote bags, A lot of her products are self-love themed. It makes me remind myself to get back on track with self-love. She also has products based on Chinese dramas, K-dramas, manga, anime. It's a lot of cute things, so go check her out. She also has a YouTube, and she does these chill painting videos, and I love just sitting there watching. I also do my art, too, while I'm watching the videos. It's like we're having our own painting session so that's pretty cool you can find her on etsy at journey of love that's j-o-u-r-n-e-y-o-f-l-o-v-e-e journey of love all right guys that's all i have for this week thank you so much for tuning in i hope that you have a nice week and i'll see you next time 